Today, we're diving into a realistic drift build for the Nissan 370Z. Now, hold on to your seats, because this isn't your typical 1000 horsepower formula drift car. Huh? No, we're taking a different path, a lighter build with stock and street parts. Our goal? A 500 horsepower setup with a steep angle, perfect for tandem and circuit drifting, giving you unmatched control. I know, 500 horsepower might sound over the top for realism, but remember, the Nissan 370Z already starts at 332 horsepower. So, let's build upon that foundation and hit that magic number. But that's not all. Get ready for a crash course in tuning as we put this beast to the test. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the skills to fine-tune any ride in this game. No more guesswork, just precision performance. Alright, let's jump right in! First things first, power. We're slapping on some twin turbochargers. No need for an engine swap when you've got a monster like the 370Z stock engine. Twin turbos are our ticket to drifting glory in this rear-wheel drive wonder. When it comes to tires, we're sticking to stock. And here's a pro tip. Tweak the front tire width for more grip and control. It's a game changer for those steep angles and tandem drifts. As for the rear, we're keeping things stock. Remember, we want those rear tires to spin and slide for that picture-perfect drift. Under the hood, we're going all in on power upgrades. No need to overhaul every single part, just the ones that'll squeeze every ounce of power and torque from our stock engine. Springs and dampers are your keys to unlocking that iconic drift look. The rest? Well, they're just along for the ride. As for the transmission, we're keeping it stock for now. We'll fine-tune that after our test drift. It's all about finding that sweet spot. The drivetrain stays stock. And the differential? It's a no-brainer. Drift diff all the way. Time to hit the track. Before you jump to conclusions, yes, this car can drift out of the box. But hang on tight, because it's missing three crucial tuning elements to become a true drift king. We're talking alignment, gearing, and those fine-tuning touches. I am already making the rear wheels differential lock which means that both tire would spin at same rate. Think of it as a solid rod which is fitted between rear wheels. Let's start with alignment. Camber and toe are our best friends here. Camber, the vertical angle of the wheels, plays a crucial role. Max out the front camber at 5.5 degrees for ultimate corner grip. The rear? A touch less at 3 degrees to let those rear tires spin and slide. Toe, the horizontal wheel angle, is our next target. Push the front wheels to 2 degrees outward for those tight corners. In the rear, set it at 1 degrees inward for that extra turn angle. And don't forget caster, the front wheel's best friend for drifting. Keep it cranked up high for maximum control. Gearing is where we hit a small roadblock. Big corners need speed to maintain that drift line, and right now, we're struggling. Let me show you. A 
As you can see I am struggling to maintain drift line because this car is not getting enough power from third gear. Let me try fourth gear. Car returns to low RPM on fourth gear, and it losses the needed RPM to drift. But fear not, because we're making adjustments to keep the RPMs in check and the power flowing. Okay, I changed transmission to race, which unlocks gear tuning. So we need to make this chart to look like this as you can see it mentions RPM with respect to each gear with speed. A transmission switch later, and we're back in action. Gearing is aligned, RPMs are roaring, and this car is begging for more drift action. Let me quickly show you the final tunings. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, a 100% tuned drift masterpiece. We've conquered corners, tamed the straights, and built a beast ready to dominate any circuit. But remember, tuning is a dance, and every car has its own rhythm. This 370Z? It's an exceptional canvas, and Forza nailed its performance and design. Before we wrap this up, let's push the limits. We're taking this beast to a challenging drift locations. Can it handle the heat? Okay, let's drift this car on big circle and let's see how well it can maintain its line. Okay, second gear is nice, let's try third gear. Wow, it wants to stay sideways on third gear. Okay, let's make a steep corner here. And it handles it well here. Let's make it more difficult. Can this handle this drift location? And there you have it, a drifting dream machine. How did our build fare? Let me know in the comments below. If you're hungry for more drift builds or gaming content that sparks your interest, hit that like and subscribe button. Our community is growing strong, and we'd love to have you on board. Until next time, stay sideways.